It's about time, Mr. Banner. I don't like waiting. Our deal is off, Maranzella. Look at this. What is this? Oh. Quite a sign of confidence, Mr. Banner. Using ink. I use lead. The king has graciously removed himself from the picture without your assistance. So under the circumstances, we want our 10 million back. Of course, we'll pay you a little something for your trouble. You're very generous. But look around you. Your friend, Mr. Hatcher, has checked out. So has your money. Now look here, Marilyn Zeller. The CIA gave you that money for this operation, and now the operation is canceled. We want that 10 million. I would be pleased to give you back your money. But I don't have it. This isn't funny, Maranzella. We got a problem. You got a problem. I tell you what we do. I'll put a couple of my boys onto this. When they find Hatcher and the money, we will turn them over to you. Minus Jimmy Hatcher. And 25%. I can't go back to counting and justify 25%. 12. 10. Plus expenses. You're on. Peachy. What if uh, we find him first? Mr. Banner, a deal has been made. We honor our commitments. We expect you to honor yours. We never break an agreement. It isn't the American way. wraps it up for this morning. We certainly had our hands full earlier with all those problems, but the traffic is thinning out now, and I'm happy to say so is the fog along the coast.
Investigations concerning the mysterious death of entrepreneur James Hatcher, whose body was found yesterday, are still in progress. Police refuse to comment on rumors linking Hatcher to alleged underworld connections. I woke up with a hangover, and the last thing I needed was more bad news. What I did need was some fresh air and a job. Bloody, bloody. By trade, I'm an accountant. Sent to Los Angeles by a venerable old English firm to oversee the remnants of its crumbling empire. I told them they should cut back the staff and streamline their operation. And ended up streamlining myself right out of a job. It's one of the little perversities of the American system. They drive on the right-hand side of the road, but they approach situations like mine with a particularly left-handed logic. In order to find employment, I needed a work permit, and in order to get a work permit, I needed a job. My immediate prospects were somewhat ill-defined. I suppose that's why I allowed myself to become involved with the hatches. Help me, please. Help me. That girl down there, she's, she's going to fall. That girl there, please. I'm no knight in shining armor, but what the hell? The girl was easy to look at, and I hoped she'd respond to my winning personality. Look, miss, please. Hold on now. Take hey, well, miss, hold your on. hands hold on now. off of me. Can we please leave now? I, I just want to be alone. It's all right. It's all right now. Young man, would you come here? I'm sorry about all this. My son was buried today. His car went over that cliff about two weeks ago. Do you think you could drive us home? Oh, I'll see that you're driven back and that you're properly reimbursed. Properly reimbursed. That was music to my ears. I wasn't making any time with the girl, but Mrs. Hatcher seemed friendly enough. Besides, with a tank like that, it meant she had money. And if she had money, she might need an accountant or know someone who did. Leave her alone. Thank your pardon. Leave her. Leave her. Mrs. Hatcher. Don't bother, Mr. Kinney. Mr. Kinney, this is Alex. You broke your foot? Skiing. Should have waited for the snow. She's not a bad girl, really. I liked her right off. But very highly strung. Ever since her brother died, she's been very difficult to reach. He was the only one that could really control her. I'm afraid I've spoiled her over the years. I can't keep my eye on her anymore. Alex has all he can do, just looking after me. Wouldn't be for very long, just until she gets over her brother's death. What do you say, Mr. Kinney? I'm usually hard to keep an eye on figures of a, of a different sort. Mm -hmm. right. I don't have a work permit. That's very easily arranged. Name your price. Seven. She gave me a look that would freeze a volcano. Could have gotten more, Mr. Kinney. Oh, Alex, your concentration is all off. Oh, my Iga, oh, so kata, kata da. Don't tell me. 
You learned kendo when you worked for a Japanese electronics firm. No, actually, for a Japanese textile company. As an accountant? As an accountant. Would you like to go around? Oh, I'd love nothing better. Unfortunately, I neglected to bring my armor with me when I came. How tall are you, Mr. Kinney? Six foot. That's perfect. Uh, and a bit. Follow me. Oh, dear. The late Mr. James Hatcher had obviously led a reclusive and solitary life and clearly enjoyed life's simple pleasures. Casual, casual, casual business. Excuse me for asking, but uh, did Mr. Hatcher like dressing while he was lying down? You can change now, Mr. Kinney. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me for asking again, but... Um, what line of business was he in? Laundry. He was in the laundry business. He must have cleaned an awful lot of dirty shirts. Now, Mr. Kinney. <laughs> You're very good, Mr. Kinney. You're not too bad yourself, Miss Hatcher. So we call it a draw, Miss Hatcher. We can call it a draw if you stop calling me Miss Hatcher. My name is Lees. Lees? You can call me Kinney. I like the way you say it. <laughs> I've been driving for years, Mother. That's why I hired Mr. Kinney. Let him drive. For my sake, darling, please. Live long in Los Angeles then, miss. All my life. I thought your mother said you were from Boston. She's not my real mother. I was adopted. Uh. Mr. Kinney, the speed limit is 55. Don't worry, miss. We are indeed well within it. She played me for dumb, so I played along. Sometimes it's easier that way. It leaves room for surprises. And I wondered if I wasn't in for a few surprises of my own. They shouldn't let people like that on the road. That guy drives like a... like a... like a... Jerk. Jerk. It didn't look like a tail so much as it felt like a tail. They were just a little too close, a little too anxious, a little too ugly. Where are we going to put the girl? I should have brought the other car. Where are we going to put the girl? Excuse me, miss, but I think we are being bloody followed. Could you lose them, Kenny? In that case, miss, I must insist that you put on your safety belt. <laughs> Nice work, Mario. Hello. Hi. We're going to borrow the lady for a little while. Oh, really? Ow.
That's a Brody miss. How did he do that? I don't know. I think it's the handbrake. Kenny, the truck. I got bad news. What? The brakes don't work. The brakes don't work. The brakes what? don't work. Suppose you learned to drive like that when you work for Ferrari. As an accountant? <laughs> it figures. If you had known my son, you would understand how much this terrifies me. Uh, can you think of anything that might have invited this? My son was involved in some rather questionable business. And you think? That the girl, maybe? He had an enormous influence on her, sometimes frightening influence. But I, I don't know how involved she was in his affairs, even though I'm sure it was quite innocently. But why are you confiding all this in me, ma'am? Because I need your help. I'm dying, Mr. Kinney. Very sorry. Unfortunately, Lise still feels there's hope. She's found the Morrow Clinic in Quebec City. And you want me to keep an eye on Lise? How could I refuse? Good night, Mr. Kinney. Good night, Mrs. Thatcher. Mr. Kinney. Huh? I think... It would be a good idea to move to my house in Lake Arrowhead very soon. Oh, I think that would be very, very wise, ma'am. And if I might make the suggestion, we should do so with as little fanfare as possible. I'll have a full transcript ready for you in the morning. It's definite. Lake Arrowhead tomorrow. She's alive. Hatcher is alive. What are you talking about? Head. Help me out. Hatcher. Good. Help. Hatcher is alive. I heard him talking on the telephone. We should have tapped the phone before. Oh, my God. You stink so bad. I can't believe it. Get away from me. Never mind how I smell, please. They're going to Lake Arrowhead. I know where it is. What are we going to do with those guys? Where are we going to put them? I made sure we weren't being followed on the trip to Lake Arrowhead, but I still felt uneasy. Too much was going on and too little being said about it. Then Alex played his hat. Take a left at that road up there. Left. Got Sten. Is that Sniper loaded? Is that loaded? Loaded. Well, uh, what about the shotgun? You don't need the shotgun. I want the shotgun. Okay, now listen, you don't have to go so gun crazy. You know, we got other guys here to help us out. Hey, why did you hire those guys? I wanted to do it. Yeah, they're just here to back us up, to help us. Marinzella does not want Hatcher to get away. And you don't so think we... I can handle it? I don't remember going on this road before, Alex. 
It's a new road, Mrs. Hatcher. They just put it in last year. They're going to ruin these hills with all these new roads. I studied the map, ma'am, and the road indeed was there, but the map was four years old. Take my word for it, Mr. Kenny. It is a new road. without falling all over yourself. Look, my mother told me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't, don't say, say anything. anything okay, I apologize for my rudeness, all right now? Okay. Try not to shoot at her. These guys that you hired, are they good? They're the best in the business. That's far enough. Why are we stopping here, Alex? Will someone tell me what's going on? Why don't you tell them, Alex? Please be patient. You want some earplugs? Oh, God. Seen anything? Not yet. Alive. I believe I am. Get out and leave the keys. Hello, Mother. You son of a bitch! Why, Mommy? you always are. Mr. Kinney, I presume. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you. I think. I suppose that's why they shot him first. Good, Mr. Kenny. Thank you. More of your friends. Look. 
That jeep's got a 50 caliber cannon mounted on it. We haven't got a bloody chance. So I see, but there isn't much we can do about it. Yes, we should bloody surrender. Good thinking, Mr. Kinney. Wait. I've got an idea. Come on. I don't like being rude, but do you fly? Well, I got it up. Barely. Can you get it down? That's the easiest part. <laughs> was easy. Kenny. Oh, Kenny, please. Can you help us? Come along, Mrs. Hatcher. We're going to take you somewhere safe. Alex is dead. I know that, Mother. I can see that. What did those men want? Well, they certainly didn't love me for my body. Oh, I think they did. Tell me, James. <laughs> there you go. Tell you later. Tell me now, James. Well, it seems, Mother, that they were about to kill me. You see? I got something that they want, and they want badly. 
if they can't find me, they're going to find you and use you to smoke me out, and I can't have that. James? Why didn't you tell us you were alive? Well, look around you, sweetheart. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, Mr. Kinney. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Guns, they give me a sort of allergy. Don't like them. I'm afraid the time has come for us to say goodbye. No! Stay out of the way. No! Stay out of the way. No! Please. Fancy him, do you? He saved your life, James. Really? I don't seem to remember that part. Arrowhead is in that direction. It ought to take you a couple of days to walk there. Well, considering the alternative, a nice, long, brisk walk sounds lovely. I like your spirit. I'm sorry, Mr. Kinney. So am I. Do you know, I'm... I like looking after you. And, 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 and your mother. Maybe, maybe another time, perhaps. Are you joining us, Lise? Go on. I hope so. Mr. Kinney! Mom! Thank you! Oh, God, you're welcome, Mom. I never got my severance pay. Ah, oh, well. When you've been kidnapped, shot at, seen five men murdered in cold blood, crashed a helicopter and lost your best girl all in one night, the only thing left to do was have a quiet drink. Fortunately, the bullets missed the bar. Hello, lads. Would you like a drink? Uh, brandy, whiskey, vodka, gin. Having a little trouble, I see. Flat tire, actually. Two flat tires, actually. Two, three, four, five. Jesus, World War Three here. How'd you kill them all? How'd you do it, fella? Oh, it was easy. I just said, uh, drop dead and they all fell. <laughs> <laughs> this is no laughing matter. I know that. <laughs> I didn't do it. Then how come you're the only one around here still sucking wind? I never thought of that. That's a good question. That's a good question indeed. It is. Right. Adventure is not all it's cracked up to be. If anyone ever asks if you'd like to be a hero, take a piece of advice from me. Don't volunteer. Hello, Mr. Kinney. Hello, Mr... Banner, CIA. Do you mind signing this? Uh, what is it? it? It simply states that should you tell anybody what I'm about to tell you, our government will prosecute you for treason. I can't even get a bloody work permit. How can they prosecute me for treason? Don't you want to know why you're here? Oh, I'd love to know Sign why. it. God bless you. Thanks. You know who Mr. High Point is, don't you? No. Do you know who James Hatcher is? We've met. Mr. High Point and Mr. Hatcher have some money which belongs to us. Ten million. Several years ago, we initiated an operation. James Hatcher was part of that operation entrusted with the hiring and payment of a certain organization. <clears throat> uh, don't tell me. Let me guess. And you gave him the ten million? We are all mortal, Mr. Kinney. We make mistakes. I've heard rumors to that effect. 
We wanted Mr. Hatcher to launder the money. You familiar with the term, Mr. Kinney? I'm familiar with the process. Uh, it is illegal. Uh, to that end, Mr. Hatcher was to set up a number of dummy companies. And he never delivered the money. Very good. As far as we know, the money is still being laundered through Mr. Hatcher's network of dummy companies. Let me guess again. The names and addresses of which are only known to him. Exactly. Oh, I like this game. So, where and when our $10 million will reappear, only Mr. Hatcher knows for sure. So, before that happens, we want to know who Mr. High Point is and where he has our cash. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. Mr. Kinney. I'd like to know on what charges I'm being held. You're non-specific at present. Oh. But I'm sure if you come up with the right answers, uh, they could be made non-existent. Oh. Otherwise, come up with $100,000 that your bail has been set at. $100,000. Goodbye. Oh, excuse me. I'd like to believe that you can't really do this to me. Mr. Kinney, we are the CIA. We can do anything. I was afraid you were going to say that. God bless you. You killed four men in cold blood and you don't know who they were. Four? Was it four? Really? Oh, that had to be self-defense. You bastard. And the man in your corvette? We auditioned him for the part. You killed him too? Oh, how do I know, baby? I never even met the man. That was always Alex's department. Alex always did what you told him to do. Yeah. I'm gonna miss old Alex. It's so hard to find good help these days. Outside? Sure. What's going on? You just got failed. Who raised it? Your connection. Oh, why do I keep forgetting my connection? God bless you. You too. Somebody just sprung Guinea. Well, at least I'm out in the fresh air again. I just hope and pray I haven't picked up that man's cold. I thought they let me out so they could follow me to Hatcher, but the joke was on them. At ease, men. I had no idea where I was going or how I was going to get there. But I've got to find Lees, haven't I? And I've got to find her quick before somebody else finds me. Mr. Hatcher's got too many friends for my liking, and they're the type who always drop in unannounced. <laughs> Lord, help me! What are you going to do with knife? I'm going to cut your sleeve. I can't bear to watch this. It cost me a week's salary. You don't even let me roll his sleeve up. Yeah, let me roll my sleeve up. You need the knife? Don't need the knife. No, I want to do this. He wants to do it. He's from New York. He's... Oh. Can't bear to look. Can't bear it. All right. I don't like needles. Have a nice sleep. It's most considerate of you. <laughs> Je veux que vous transportiez madame directement à la clinique et que vous l'inscriviez sous ce nom. Appelez-moi immédiatement si elle recevait des visiteurs. Je serai au château Frontenac pendant toute la semaine. Je comprends parfaitement. Ah oui, je savais très bien que vous comprendriez. <laughs> One more thing. She's under sedation. I want her kept that way. James, where are they taking me? The Morrow Clinic, mother. No. Yes, it's all been arranged. You arranged it yourself, don't you remember? It's too late for that now. I want to stay with Lise and, and with you. Yes, but we're going to come see you every day, huh? won't we? No. Oh, look, Mother, you're going to die unless you have this operation. Please. Give it up, James. Give what up? This business of yours. Oh, oh I intend to. Very soon, very soon. Don't involve her, James. I promise. Don't involve her! I promise! I 
want to go with her, James. No. Please. We can see her later. We've got business to attend to. Get in. Yes? Yes. It's imperative that we move everything ahead three days. Imperative. Can you accommodate that? Good. Good. I'll meet you in Toronto on the 5th. Do you know one here? Yeah. Yes. He was a great man. And a good father. Yeah? Yeah. Welcome to New York, Mr. Kinney. Where is he? Who? Oh, Mr. Jimmy Hatcher. You didn't bring me all this way in a coffin just to ask me that. Do you want a cup of coffee or something? Your throat seems a little dry. Never met the man? Yes, I have. I met him. Good. Huh. Well, that's, you don't mind me saying, very easy for you to say. <laughs> oh, yes. It's what you English call peachy. Um, excuse me, Mr. Maranzella. How do I fit into all of this? Bear with me for a moment, Mr. Kinney. I will get to that. But first, I tell you a little story. A couple of years ago, this Mr. Jimmy Hatcher makes contact to us. He wants us to do a job for him, for the um, company he represents. The CIA? Oh, you know already. So, we get a contract to do a job. What kind of job? A hit. A hit? A big hit. What's he saying? I thought he was an ally of the United States. I know it's terrible. It's disgusting the way they treat their friends. But business is business. Anyway, after all of this, their great ally goes and gets himself deposed. Well, I never heard. How bloody thoughtless of him. Where is he now? Who knows? Who cares? But no hit, no deal. And now, they want the money back. And I want the man. Mr. Jimmy Hatcher gets a little greedy. He takes the money and he sends it back to the laundry. He wants to keep it all to himself. I don't know where he is. Really. Hey, 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 hey. We are friends, Mr. Kinney. I am the man who put up 100 Gs just so you could see New York. Those CIA clowns would have kept you on ice for good. And all I am asking, Mr. Kinney, is that you find Mr. Jimmy Hatcher for me. Maybe it will come to you soon where he is. I hope so, because you have one week to find him. 
Otherwise, the ones with business to settle will be you and me. Okay? Okay. Rico. Give Mr. Kinney a little expense money. Five thousand dollars? I could find happy bloodiness. And Falco and Santino are going to take you out to uh, Bloomingdale's to get you some new clothes. You can't go around like that. Bloomingdale's. How much something in tweed? How much is it? When in doubt, tweed. How much is it? Five hundred dollars. Money's There's no way we're going to spend 500 bucks on a suit. Right, it's I feel comfortable in tweed. Anyway. That's, That's not money. the point. Let me wear what he wants to wear Let for God's sake. Let me wear what I want to wear sake. for God's sake. get something in nice cotton? Nice like cotton. Cotton? Hmm? What do you know anyway? You dress like a slob. Oh, I think you've gone too far this time. Uh, he didn't really mean that. What about something in a nice tactful apology? I'm sorry. He's sorry. Uh, gentlemen, the tweeds are this way, if you will follow me. Well, I thought that maybe I'm something sorry. in Get your hands off or corduroy or something yeah, right. like that that would really suit my personality. They awake up in four hours with thundering hangovers. Banner. You shouldn't have left our protection, Mr. Kinney. Now, let's see. What is it you want? Tweed. Right? You can forget about the tweed. Now, I've had it with your damn nonsense and bloody games. Uh, where is he, Mr. Kinney? Where is he exactly? I don't bloody exactly know where he is. But what I do exactly know is this, that if you and them keep following him, some innocent people are going to get hurt. No, innocent people get hurt every day. It's an unavoidable fact of life. Oh, I like unavoidable things. Oh! <laughs> of going out to the hall to change anyway. Oh, right. Thank you. I'm much obliged. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my. Oh, 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 well, it's been fun. Carry on. Oh, no, no, no. 
A man answering Kinney's description boarded the 950 flight from Quebec City. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I would have loved it. Oh, Punk! Oh. I remembered that Mrs. Hatcher was supposed to go to the Morrow Clinic in Quebec. I didn't know whether she'd be there or not, but it was the only lead I had. A white coat, a stethoscope and a smile to the right nurse got me the room number. It looked as if my look might be changing. Madame. I didn't order any room service. Walter Marie, Commande, Telka Shoes, Madame. Kinney, it is you. Oh. Well, I'm not somebody else. <laughs> How'd you like my French? <laughs> oh, my beautiful, wonderful Englishman. Come on, we haven't got any time. Oh, I know. You can't stay, Kinney. He'll be back any minute. You're leaving? We're flying to Toronto. Why Toronto? We're supposed to meet somebody there. He's supposed to give us something. I point. What? They've been making arrangements for a week. We're supposed to meet somewhere in Toronto. Huh? Tomorrow. I missed you. I missed you too. I said it first. <laughs> oh, hi. What? Oh, he, he just went up. What goes up has got to come down. When he does, come down on him. Okay. Well, in that case, you can call me Lewis. Lewis. Lewis? Now, isn't that sweet? What a darling name. Hello. So we meet yet again, Mr. Kenny. Uh, sorry, Lewis. It's always such a pleasant surprise. What a pity it has to be under such poignant circumstances. Oh, you bastard. You call blooded bastard. Now, now, now. Tut, tut. Leave her alone. She loves me. And, uh... They're on to you, you know, Hatcher. Oh, no. Are they really? Oh, yes, really. And, you know, you've made quite a few friends in your very short career. Oh, isn't that nice? You think they'll miss me when I'm gone? Oh, I don't think so. But they will hunt you down and run you to the ground. You know, it is so sad that you've turned out to be such a poor judge of character, Mr. Kinney. You've got to realize, you see, that their tactics are not exactly what you might call brilliant. And it's a big world, Mr. Kinney. And when they've worked it all out, if they ever do, I shall be long gone, sir. Long gone. Well, little sister, who's it to be? Him or me? Uh, he or I? You can't push me around anymore. You mean, this is goodbye? Oh, mais je déteste les adieux. What does that mean? Adieu, Jimmy. 
I never want to see you again. Very well. If you insist. Um, I don't suppose, I mean, I mean, you're, you're not dumb enough to fall for that old look out behind your back gag. But, uh, look out behind your back gag. Side you on. Are you all right, Lewis? Well, come on. We've got to get him. Damn it. Stairs. Go on. Bonjour, monsieur. Come on. Uh, Francais or Anglais? Pardon? Take the other elevator, please. This man is ill. Get an ambulance, quickly. You have to speak French here, seulement. What the hell does that mean, seulement? What does that mean, seulement? Take your hands off your arm. I'll break your... I'll break your... Break my what? Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Oh, there he is. Hurry! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I Did you get away from there? Get out of here! It's gonna be all right! Get away! Get a word! Stop! And ah. distract! Oh, I'm sorry! What are you I'm doing? Sorry. You're I so didn't mean clumsy! It. I Yes, monsieur. Merci. Hey, take one. Take one, Hey, 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 Get out of the way! If you want your car, get out of the way! Come on, get out of it! Dominic! Wait! Dominic! Hold it! Take a minute, I can eat you! Take a minute! Let's go! Hey! Give a quick way! Hey, what you eat me? Glory! Right here! What did you drive like a maniac for? You were driving and you distracted me with that word! I was driving? You don't even get know in. who was driving? You were driving get a in. car! I was not! Smashed into a tank! Hey! Drive! What? What? Get in. Get in.
This is our operation, Maranzella, so just stay out of it. Yeah, you got no jurisdiction, Mr. Banner. We are the CIA. We have jurisdiction everywhere. Oh, this is really nice. tell that to the Mounties. You owe me a paint job. If I see you in Toronto... <laughs> hey, Tony! Hey, Falco Centino! What are you talking to those guys? Hey, come on, you! Come on, we go! We go! Come on! Hey, you, shrimp, out! Own car! Uh, where are we going to now? Toronto. Toronto. What street is that on? You're good boys. I'll get you a delicatessen, okay? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> you know something? Patch is right. They'll never catch him. And if they don't catch him, they're going to come looking for me. Because they want the scapegoat. And I fit the bill right and nicely. No. No, Lewis, I want to go somewhere. I want to go any place. Some place where they won't find us. Oh, they're very good at finding people. But they're no bloody good at catching them. We find High Point, we find the money. Find High Point, and we find Hatcher. Preparation for landing. 
attending, please extinguish your cigarettes and place your chair and table in the upright position and ensure your seat belt is securely fastened. The temperature in Toronto is a lovely 80 degrees, and if you look out the windows on the left, you'll see the CN Tower, the world's tallest freestanding structure. The world's bloody tallest structure. Wow. What are we looking for? Their meeting in Toronto, that's what Lee said. And this was High Point. What else could it be? I knew if I figured it out, Banner and Maranzella wouldn't be far behind. They were incompetent, but they weren't stupid. I could have used their help, but if Jimmy Hatcher saw a reception committee waiting for him, he'd never show his face. There'd be no Jimmy Hatcher, no ten million dollars, and no me. I had to send them on a wild goose chase and go it alone. All right. I'm on my way up. Right. Mr. Banner. Now I'll be letting everyone off at the indoor observation level. That's a height of 1136 feet or 346 meters above Toronto. Lace! Lace! They're on their way up. Good. No, I'm afraid. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid for me, I'm afraid for you. Don't worry, don't forget, the Ferris wheel. I don't know, uh, who do I pick? A man with a briefcase, a big one. Him. Go on. Lewis, if... If you get shot killed, I'm never going to speak to you again. Well, just for that, you can call me Mr. Kinney again. Go on. Mr. Kinney. Mm-hmm. I love you. Go on. Oh, excuse me. Yes? I seem to have something in my eye. You do? Uh-huh. The right one. Uh -huh. Oh, I love your teeth. They're so... They're just so rectangular. Yes, I know. Your place or mine. Oh. <laughs> I said... Uh -huh. Your place or mine? Uh, well, uh... Have you got a car? Yes, I, uh, I have a limousine downstairs. A limousine? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> mad impetuous fool. I've always <laughs> wanted it in a limousine. Uh -huh. With a man who had teeth exactly like yours. What are they doing out there? Hey! Hey! Teeth hey. dreams. The decoy! I'll find out, boss. Who's your dentist? Well, it's a doctor. Leave them. They're idiots. Let's go! Oh, no! God! Oh, Get the other one! Get the other one! Come on, come on! Oh, 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 oh,
meeting upstairs and I was just... Business meeting. Yes. I love men. Power. I'm straight up now. No, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Really? Oh, I love it like that. It's so animal. It's so savage. Uh -huh. It's so Tarzan. Really? Tarzan? Uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Not here. No. Not here. on the goddamn road. Hey, uh, I know this sounds like a cliche, but uh, my wife doesn't understand me. Oh, my husband doesn't understand me either. You're, uh, you're married? Mm-hmm. He's a tackle mm -hmm. for the L.A. Rams. He's a brute. Is he, uh, is he in town? Mm-hmm. He's following us. Oh, no! He's in, He's in town with, with the team? team? Oh, my God! Yeah, come on. Come on, you guys. Let's move it. All right, get, get him out. out come on, come on. Get him out, get him out, come on. Get him out of the car, 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 come on. Something important. What? High point, high point. Don't make any sudden movements. Okay, don't worry. Don't make any sudden movements. Where is it? What? The ten million. Look, look, I've got a wife and two children. Where is Hatcher? Look, I, I never played around in my whole life, I swear. I've never done anything like you this. You are a clown. You don't know anything. Where is he, Miss Hatcher? Ooh, I haven't the slightest. Damn! Move! Come on, get in! Oh! Well, get me a Valium. Come on, come on, come on, Okay, wash a little, the window. Where's he going? Then let's get out of here. It's Hatcher. What? All right, go, go. Which way? Which way? Come on, we gotta get out of here. The 
Excuse me. Gotcha! Okay, here, look, we're, we're coming to the door on the right We're coming to the window, we're coming to the window. Okay. I'm sure. Come on with that. I'm doing okay. Will you don't push me, all right? Okay, okay. Don't lurch it. Don't lurch it. I'm not lurching. I'm not lurching. Believe you did that. You lurch. Believe me. Believe me. This thing is very safe.
You know, Mr. Kinney, I hate goodbyes. But... Well, believe it or not, that's the end of my story. And I'm right back where I started. Except I'm in love with the bird with very expensive tastes. Hatcher's pushing up daisies. This time, there's no mistake about it. The CIA got the 10 million. Maranzella got his 10%. And the two goons got their deli. And I got the girl. Nice and neat. Just like in the movies. Oh. Oh. You're safe and sound and absolutely beautiful. I have two tickets for the Ferris wheel. Shall we? <laughs> Listen, if I marry her, I might get me work permit. <laughs> and in case you're interested, we lived happily ever after. <laughs>